the best odds. Dota 2 Dafa Esports, powered by Dafabet. Visit us at dafabet.com. Reveal global sounds. Oh, they might find a better one. He is the better one if they can kill him. Hookshot forward as four up towards the ancients. That's the better target. Killing off burning. Kirax ready to jump in again. Bobrika can actually jump up the hill. In fact, it's gonna be a two man stun into the Wukong command. IG, they'll fight from the high ground. OP will have to do some serious work here underneath the egg. They're able to bring down Fly. A skewer forward. It's No Tail who's on the run. Creates a copy of himself. And do they take the bait? The RP is out. They find the real one. You've still got the copy of No Tail trying to kill off Q. It won't work when the bonus damage is there. The Sun Strike! <gasps> they all avoid it. In fact, they were gathering up together just to make sure they wouldn't be hit by it. And Invictus Gaming, a 3-2 trade-off. Clustered up area next to the shrine. So they does eventually OG. have to just concede heroes to OP. Does, does Anna have? No, oh, we can't. Good oh, attempt. They, they oh, again! He found him again! Jurax, he was hanging on the trees. But again, you must respect the master of the king. Bobacast playing an exceptional game. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really have nothing less. I don't really have much else to say. This Earth Spirit performance is oh, outstanding no tail, so far. Trying to go onto the Magnus. The Sun Strike's coming in. X -X -S. Oh! S4 actually gets him with the Clockwork Rocket, level 4. It did just enough damage to send him over the edge, but now the jump forward. Fly gets evaporated with the Blinking Templar Assassin, but he's trapped out the cost up a Deathlink Blast. Refraction Charge will give him a little bit more life, but S4 hookshots him behind. They'll burn the Aegis Immortal and trap him, Bobica. He's let the Magnetized rip. No Tail's got a little bit more damage, but his TA, he's actually jumping up after No Tail. Jurax, there's not a lot he can really do now. He doesn't have the ultimate. Another Metal Strike will do that work as S4 running away from the Tier 2 Tower. Like just the burn that comes from the Phoenix. But that wasn't enough to survive either. Invictus Gaming. And when it comes to super late game scaling, uh, I don't know who I'm favoring, honestly. I think both lineups go very well into the late game. But no tell. more entertaining games later on. IG uh -huh. are pushing in the bottom lane. No tell trying to go for a little bit of a play on the Q. The Sun Strike's coming in. Q, he walks right into it! Oh, Anna! Or is it going to be terrible? I think this game ends with an RP. That's way! There it goes, one, and they find No Tail. A quick jump in, No Tail's gone, 84 seconds down. No extra help for him. Wukong's command is powerful, but not that powerful. Burning will move up into the spin. He doesn't actually have his Omni Slash, but it won't matter. Two heroes down for OG with no buyback. OP waits, lets the Metal Strike fly towards Anna. That doesn't do enough work. Anna might have enough space. No, he's alone with no friends inside his own base. That's GG. Game one goes the way of Invictus. For Tavo, so not the easiest way to initiate. Minus Jumping Chrono on to three. Can they find this? The Wukong's command at top and is going to be the first target. Swap out. Can they bring down anybody? S4. He'll fall. Looks like the people will go down. No tail. Get stopped up. Can they bring him down? They get off the double edge. What a fight so far for SG. Anna going to go for the TP. Can they get the bash? Overgrowth comes out, but they do get it. Anna's still getting chased down. Free fire. He takes that one. Now the time walk. They need more ADR. Can he get this? They give him the alacrity up as well. Getting chased down. Stop off the bashes there. Tavo gets the double. Do this. Top lane CP's coming in. They were potentially looking for HFM, but... Jurex, they'll drop the sentry. Guess what? They found him. Primal Spring will come out. Jump and stomp. Dust up. Sun Strike. See you later. Boom. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Uh, I guess not really expecting how many other heroes were there from SG. Yeah, they dropped the meatball. The cold snap is there. They get off the mech. Overgrow stolen, but ADR. 40 yards in trouble. Jump and stomp. Good Deputy Blast. He will still fall, though. It's the poison. The auto attack damage from S1 that does the job. Anna coming back in, another Dragon Tail. HFN is finally teeping in, but Tavo is in a lot of trouble. Spell stolen. Dragon Tail is up, and here comes No Tail. Magic Missile. They lose three. They do not. Not very quickly, so he's already back here. David, uh, stop the threat mid Damn, and dude. bottom. Look at that. You're right. Yeah. That Aghanims is pretty nifty. Fire Blast coming out. RTZ living armored up. They need to be careful. Wraparound gank coming in. Can they find this? Oak Moons, Tim's is going to try to bait this out. Crit getting jumped on, and the Overgrowth just in time. Can they get him down? Crit still alive. The Frostbite, the Freezing Field, the Impale on the two. Cuckoo getting low. Now Sumail again still has that Aegis. Manta style ready as well. Freezing Field still going to work. The Frostbite is up. The Chronosphere on the back lines, but he did use that Jetta Dance just in time. Rior will fall. They do get the kill on the Aegis at the very least, but that's it. Now Raven about to get caught. Same age nearby as well. No Impale. Shadow Blade away. Sumail coming in. They've got the Bastion's eye. Now Cuckoo back up and ready to fight as well. Arteezy running low on mana. They don't have the 
ages anymore. This might be too much. They might have stayed too long. Oh, Arteezy and Samil getting so low. Cuckoo finds himself a double kill. They will both go down. The Impale is not there in time for Universe. Where is EG? Yeah, they, they have a pretty good idea of where everybody is. Raven will walk right in. Spirit Lance Doppelganger coming out. They have the uh, Chronosphere. Can they bring this Cuckoo PL down? The Impale is out. They're looking to burn everybody down. The Freezing Field is there. The Overgrowth not doing nearly enough, and they will break down Sumail. It looks like actually still staying alive, trying to man fight. So far, so good. All of a sudden, they have to buy back and reorder. Nobody dead just yet for e EG. They're going to come in RTZ, just trying to toggle and stay alive. Is it enough damage? Cuckoo finally breaks him down. The double kill is there. It takes him a long time, and now Crit is going to be next. Universe completely out of mana. The pounce is there. Cuckoo finds himself an ultra kill, and GG is called and I got TNC. Oh, Tim's boo. He stole the rampage. What Did is he? this? Oh, man. That's how, how dare you? Yeah. <laughs> King just going in, Boundless Threat comes forward, he is going to be stunned temporarily, is U9 going to get dueled here, doing a ton of damage, cutting through two, not only a dual victor, but takes out a second victim, and he's just going to be running for his life, knocks out the tornado, but Zombie's still hot on his heels, U9, will he be able to live through this, another war cry, find himself some more time, stunning up the undying, clears out the zombies, but will finally fall victim to another decay, it's going to be Mason running for the hills here, as Kaka can't continue to pressure that Chakram, but KP takes him out on the other side. He's fresh out of mana. Can't even timber chain to safety. Right, but that really can be taken by Nubi if they want to go for this. Nubu here. Good offense here. And that tornado. Wow, there. Two heroes call up all in that is Centaur. And be burned down. Abed, please relax. He kills off Kaka. Takes out another with the Sunstrike. Man, this guy's unstoppable. Silence up onto Mason, but you know, Timber Saw doesn't particularly care. Gonna be focused down here, but the rest of his team now has a big chance to react. Ben swaps herself in, tries to save Mason, will go down herself, but Mason's still up. Dubu taking a lot of damage, trying to crawl through this upheaval. There is gonna be a duel, as finally Bulba finds another one. He's just slaying. Still got a DKP rolling. They will be able to kill off the Warlock as well. KP goes in, gets a double man stomp, and tries to find that double edge, but it doesn't seem Having the blink dagger, it's all about the Lincoln Sphere. Full protection for him now. Perfect observe ward, watching aggressive farming up top lane. However, that silence being released over on Freeze. RTK will break him free. Mid one, they're focusing on the Aya. They need him to go down in order then to kill off that BKB up Shadow Fiend. They're able to achieve it. But they lose the Lunar in return. Is that he just needs to not die in that fight is pretty much what needs to happen for him right there. <laughs> oh, Poppy. He's got a Yule oh. Scepter, cancels the TP out, the Orchid's down, and there's no spirit to jump out to. Mid one with the raise. Ends up killing all Freeze. All Freeze wants to do is add a little bit of pressure to the top lane. And now they're going to be scared. It's getting pretty fat right now. He's going to have Heart pretty soon, whereas you're just going to have a Lincoln's on your Ember Spirit with... No damage, no Maelstrom, no Battle Fury. And his magic name is... Oh, the relocate. <laughs> there goes your Crystal Maiden. Fenrir in trouble. Again, Poppy being the man to set up for it. Tezu being in the neighborhood. Notice how VGJ are doing nothing to try and contest this. Fenrir is trying to leech experience up on the top. RTK pushes at the bottom. They know the fight's going to come to mid. Only like a minute and a half left on this Aegis. Actually, it's less than a minute. In towards the mid. Fenrir, more trouble for him. Poppy sets up, Pilot I and MP just wander in, and now there's no Crystal Maiden. And the only way to do that is by, is by dragging him out of range of the Abad. Yeah, but SF has BKB, so you can't really go on him. And Chaos Knight also Hague has BKB. just timed out the jump forward, aggressive, able to get that BKB off with the two second stun on the RTK. There's that swap again from FY, pulling back the Omni Knight. They have to trigger up the Shrine, but the Force is in there from Team Secret, looking to push into the melee racks. RTK just goes in, three second stun on him, aggressive. The damage output is not too bad, but then again, it's just not enough. Team Secret is so far ahead in this game, they just don't have the power. A quick push in, it's actually Actually, mid one going for it with his Hurricane Pike, trying to kill off FY. One more attack will do the job. More bounty rolling his way. And with the relocate out, they don't even get the kill on that front. It's RTK stunned up. An ultra kill for mid one. He just reset, re-pushed, and rampaging through everything VGJ offers. Will it be a double? No, it won't. MP will take it on a bee stick of life. And they're going for the GG push, and rightly so. VGJ have nothing left in the tank to defend that. I MMR wins games. Mid one.
Yeah.